God bless, God bless. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you at all. Thank you. I got my little own channel of Kensington, so I'll every day filming, so I'm gonna be filming this. Yeah, God bless, man. People come in. God bless everybody. Like you see, they're giving out clothes. What are they, Buffy? Hygiene. Hygiene, thanks. Hey, where you from? We are from the Milton area. You need another one? Yeah. 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 What's up, uh? you from here, right? What's that? You, you no, nope. we're from, they're from Milton, I'm from McAllister. Ah. Three hours away, bro. Three hours away? Three hours away. Oh, Holy dang. Sister. You live around here? Yeah, I live, I'm, I'm from Puerto Rico, but uh, I move over here now. I lost everything in Puerto Rico now, in the hurricane. Well, all right, tell me where you're from. We're from the Milton area. There's a, well, there's Milton, Allentown, there's a group, big group of us. So three hours away, right? Okay, and away. what are you doing here today? Like you see, where you do, you're giving clothes, food, um, all this donation. Where it come from? Uh, people donate. Donate. This is, this is a, a church in progress, and people just donate so we can come out here and let people know that 
They're loved, they're worthy, they're seen. You thank you, them. thank you. We, we really appreciate it. Try to keep them alive for One of the guys saw the truck and he told me, yo, they're giving out jacket. And I, that's why I came back. Yeah. And they we already try, know you. We try to get here every couple of months, but, well, you know, I appreciate it. on the move. That's all it is. Love and Jesus is good. I'm going to be filming and God bless. Whatever you need, I'll give you my car in a few minutes. God all right? bless you. Yeah. Wait a minute. What's your name? B O L Bolo Connection on YouTube or Facebook. Yeah, yeah, they weren't in there. I'm gonna put everything. B O L O Connection C O N. Yeah, Connection. There you go. I thought you were the guy down here yesterday. We're doing a documentary. Yeah, me too. Richie? No, no, that's my boy. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, it's a few. Somebody that. tagged me in your post already. Yeah. Oh yeah, mine. Yeah. Richie. Oh, Richie's post. Richie's post. Oh, Richie. Yeah, that's my yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel for him. He. Uh, Are you? I got tagged in his post. Oh, all right. Because well, we're headed down here. Well, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like you see, they're giving out here in Nita Park. God bless my brother, how you doing? Good. I can have one blanket. To give it one one of the guys over there. Thank you. Welcome. I'm going to put it right here. Mira, ponme. Cogemos otra blanca de esta. Cogemos otra blanca de esta para los hijos míos. No, no, todavía. Está bien, yo te lo dejo esta mañana. Esta mañana, para sacar algo de ahí. Está bien. Esa, bro, esa, no, esa es mía, la cogí ahora. Ah, pues está, pónmela ahí. En casa de la amiga mía, allí. La pongo en el piso y son buenas. So, give me a little bit. You're coming from three hours away, and they give you all your donation for this. And you come what time you wake up for this morning to cut to get over here i want to know everything sir so, so basically we're a little group of misfits we're about i think we probably represent five or six different churches we mm. get together and do this every couple of months um, all the donations come from a little bit from here and a little bit from there um hey somebody want to donate um you got where i can send it to no no there's no 501c this is, i bought these buses myself mm. so i could get people out of the church and onto the streets to, yeah i mean if you can serve here you can serve anywhere right? exactly so, this nice bus nice bus. um bought the buses so i could get people down here and it, it, it's just a conglomeration of churches that come down and try and keep them alive to the yeah, basically share share christ with them um i was up at 4 30 this morning uh, heating up soup, so we had something hot to give them when we got here. Yeah, man. And and that same thing with the soup. We had about ten people make soup, and we combined it all together, and uh, all the snacks and the chips. And it's all the same. See, Everybody see, just gives see. a little bit, and yeah. we got plenty to share. And that's how we roll. We don't. We don't. Uh, no five hundred one C three. All right, man. It's a blessing. More is from the heart. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna send you this. I'm gonna give you my car later. Uh, I uh I like your page, you know. I don't know if that helps you find me. I got I got what well, the um, the the Bolo connection. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I like that page. So I don't know if that connects you to me or not. Thank you. I appreciate so I like it. To see your videos. Uh, I got connected in a like I said to that Richie this morning. Mm. Somebody tagged me in his post because you guys were apparently down here yesterday. Yeah. So. 
He was just saying how the church is down here and they can help somebody get get into treatment. You know, that's why we come. You know, most of the time we come down here, we don't, we don't get anybody off the street. But we feed them, we make sure they got something to eat. I know some hygiene stuff, and we got a whole busload of coats. Two years ago, I was like that too. Were you? Yeah, I was a junkie too. I did ten years in jail. You know, the thing is, they're all created in God's image. It's 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 why we come. You know, I mean, God loves every single person down here, and. I know. You know, right now with COVID, people are hiding out and not, man, yeah, just man. come down here and love on people as much as you can. When you're going to go, you're going to go regardless. Mita, gracias por ayudarme ayer, oíste? Yo tengo más ropa de mujer ahí, oíste? Like he said, he bought this Ohio truck. I'm sorry. Like if you're on again. Nike. I don't Oh, 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 yeah. No shoes. No. Oh, you know I want to buy it. Last Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Is that bigger? Oh, all right. That's one more. Probably enough. Alright, the hot dog is over here. How you doing? God bless, God bless. They got hot dogs. This is the line. God bless, God bless. How you doing? Let me get a water. Did you get a water? Yeah. So they got a, a hat, right? A hat. They got hygiene, a water, small bag. There you go. How you doing? What's your name? I'm Tim. Where you from? I'm from uh, Milton, Pennsylvania. All right. And you, sir? Glenn. Glenn? Harrisburg. All right. Thank you for helping us, man. Thank you for helping us in Kensington. We're going to be in YouTube today, so I, I put everything in live. Okay. Where do we find that? I'll give you my card and put it, right? Huh? You're a famous YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do my thing over here. The blanket? What, well, you need a blanket? No, no, not those. Yeah, the blanket. There you go. Yeah, we hang them on the bus. They're good, they're good. You're welcome. There you go. Something fell. Oh, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Está bien, está bien, está bien. ¿Qué te llevaste? La sabanita. Es que aquí no tenemos tenis. Me mocharon un pie, fue. Oh, man. La guagua, la seta, me
I'm going back, bro. Yeah, I want to give them all but no hay tenis, no hay tenis. All my fears and sins and angers must have weighed a ton. Anything to stop the pain will do just fine. But I like biker bag. Anything at all. Can I have water? Crawl on the rock. Peace. Until my sword is tied. Jesus, don't bring the wolf. Yeah, I love you. I'm from here, Kensington. Yeah. I got my own YouTube channels around. Buddy, come on, the Bobby. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, yeah. And Mike. Yeah. And Mel. Yeah. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from. Yeah, ah, oh, nice. Thank you for helping us. We live from Kensington. What up, my brother? All right, did we get out of here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's just leave it on mine. Uh, okay, okay. Take it, take it. There you go. There you go. Well, tell me this. Did the state just find like a magic cookbook or did somebody just get out of prison? Can you have Oh, they just get killed. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. I knew it. Would you be my sponsor? Do you sponsor people? Where are you from? I'm with the bus people. Yeah, good. 
I saw you praying for one, so you yeah. don't mind me being camera? No, that's fine. Um, I saw you, you was praying for someone, you know, in Kansas City, there's a lot of people that need help. Um, when you see this, what do you think, what we can do? What, 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 something that we can fix to Kensington. I know Jesus can help us. We need God's people. More to here, get right? off their butts. We need laborers in the field. Soldiers. We need soldiers. We don't need more college educate Bible college people. We need just people that love Jesus to go out and be Jesus to these people. The and, more pe the and, more churches that are doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, okay, four years ago, something like that. I was the same one. I was skinny, just like them. Um, my house, we born again Christian, and I feel like, yeah, we need more soldiers over here just to show that. He did it with me, okay, look, I'm 225 pounds now, and... Hallelujah. He did it with me, you know. Hallelujah. I know I know he can do it with everybody else, Amen. though. But thank you, it's a blessing. to me. Yeah, he did it to you, too? No, I just... Alcohol. You know? Alcohol, so it's yeah. Alcohol, sex, you name it. I was waking up in strange places. But... He, he beat me up. Yeah. Let me have it. He said enough. You're mine. I get to work. Um, so. somebody want to contact you? You got your you um page, your YouTube page, your Facebook page, or something? Instagram? No, I mean I got you know my name's uh, Jim Page, but you know I I can share a story. If sure. Need be. I mean I got one. You know I. I fell on the foot of the, my bed the night I gave up to Jesus and uh, four hours I cried out for forgiveness because I saw where my sin was. I knew where I was headed if he returned. And uh, it's, you know, obviously that's the fear of the Lord was the beginning of wisdom. And then it just exploded from there. Yeah. So. Beautiful. And then. Thank you, man. You got it. You got it. Good. I'm gonna put this in Facebook in my page, Bolo Connection. So Bolo Connection, yeah. Let me give you a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anestesia, yeah. mezclada. Yeah. Eso es, están metiendo, están mezclando anestesia con, con feta, ¿no? Eso es lo, 
You see what he's saying? He's saying that he uses feather though and coal at the same time, but he needs he need this K2 because no, like that. Aquí, primo. Like that. So tú no neces no necesitas todo el tiempo. Dime. Yo me levanto todos los días a las 3 de la mañana si, si duermo, si ah. durmiendo. Automáticamente congelo el internet. A las 3 de la mañana yo me levanto a vomitar. Wow, de verdad, caballo. Todos los días. Si yo no tengo que ir eso yo creo que eso es ya automático. De 2 y media a 3 y media me levanto a vomitar. Si no tiene que ir tú. Si no tengo que ir tú. Y aunque lo tenga, ¿sabes? me levanto con, tengo que estar con. Yo me, me levanto, prendo el frío. Fumo. Me quedo dormido. Si estoy, en, si estoy curado, me yeah. quedo dormido. Si no estoy curado, no lo puedo fumar, fumar, fumar. Fumar un, un, una libra de que tú y. Y no te hace nada. Tacho, una, 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 me pongo pe porque te enferma, lo que está te enferma bien, cabrón. Yo me levanto bien malo. Viste, eso es lo que yo quiero o sea, que la gente sepa. This K2 is doing more danger than the real dog. This K2 is doing. Esto está, esto está haciendo más daño que mismo la droga, que la misma droga, cabrón. Porque si tú no te levantas, es he doesn't wake up and smoke. Todo el tiempo. Es que fuma que tú tienes que tener K2 todo el tiempo. You need it all time. He said that you need K2 all time. Todo el tiempo. El que fuma K2, el que sabe, el que sabe, sabe. El que fuma K2 tiene que tener K2 todo el tiempo. Porque... Tú lo necesitas. ¿Y, y cuánto cuesta un tabaquito? How much it cost un tabaquito de eso? Este, enrolado así, así ahora mismo, te lo pueden vender en, en dos pesos. ¿Sí? Enrolado, viste. Pero si es un palito, le dicen dollar stick. Ajá. Dollar stick. Pues te regalan, te venden un peso, un, un buchecito de K2. ¿Y eso te regla? Eso, a, a dollar stick. It was, it was. No, Philly, un Philly bendito. Yo, yo estoy con este Philly, yo estoy un par de horas con él, sí. porque me, se me quedo dormido. Si sí, estoy curado. Y estoy todo el tiempo, anyway, tú me vas a ver todo el tiempo con un Philly en la mano. Eso que Así te lo con, con eso te lo digo todo. Lo prendes rápido, si te da el dolorcito, lo prendes. No, siempre tengo un Philly, siempre tengo un Philly. Wow, si tenga dolor, no tenga dolor, siempre tengo un Philly. You see, you see what he's saying? He's saying that to come out of this fucking thing right now, this monster. He needs to come out of the fucking K2 and the fucking dope and the coke. Entonces la mierda es que al K2 le están echando fentanyl también. Oh my God. You see, you see this? You, you listen, K2 right now is mixed with fentanyl. Lo rocean, ¿te acuerdas en Puerto Rico que rociaban el, la marihuana con spray de muerto? Ajá, yo me acuerdo de eso. Pues aquí lo hacen, al K2 le echan fentanyl. Lo rocean con fentanyl. Wow. You hear that, people? We in Needle Park, and this man is saying that he's hooked and dope, but he needs the Tuki. The Tuki, is, the K2, he needed. Porque yo me acuerdo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo me acuerdo cuando yo estaba en Puerto Rico, en probatoria, uh -huh. que empezó, que vino la, la K2, la marihuana sintética. Sintética, la empezaron a vender en los... En la gas station. En los gas station. Exacto. En los show, entonces, y lo quitaron porque sí, la legal. gente se estaba andando... Se volvían locos. Sí, papá, yo me paniqué. Yo, yo fumé eso y me di un paniqueo, Mira, cabrón. Mi padre, yo por poco, yo por poco doblo una, una, una verja con las manos. Sí, papá, yo me paniqué. Yo creía que me iban a matar. Yo agajé, Jefe, gracias, papá. Yo agajé la, la verja y yo sentía que el piso me estaba jalando como, como, si, el, cacho, como si la gravedad. ¡Diablo! Y yo me agarraba de esa, yo me agarré de esa verja. La, como si yo la quisiera en la mara toda mi como si yo la quisiera para mí toda mi vida wow, así man. de duro la, me, me dicen yeah. y yo decía yo no, no yo puedo yo no como te digo yo sabía lo que estaba pasando todo pero no lo podía expresar como que en mi mente sabía lo que estaba pasando pero no tenía control de mi cuerpo ni de nada papi. Wow. Ha hecho una cosa bien mala pero y me duró este... como una hora y pico esa pendeja ah, hecho, a mí me duró como 20 minutos pero yo estuve paniqueado me tuve que meter y llamar a mi primo para decirle que me iban a matar cabrón porque en verdad yo estaba con una perce cabrona. Pero mi hermano, gracias por darnos esta información. And, and lo que is... quiero decir esto, uh -huh. porque ya que tú lo estás grabando, la estás documentalizando, yeah. ¿verdad? Yeah. Mi pana, a los chamaquitos, hermano, que se creen que este y lo otro. Listen que si, to him, que listen si el to trap, him. que si toda esa mierda, papi. Eso es música y eso es mierda. O sea, no te, no, no, no te no digas la película. No mezcle, no vive la película. No, me, no te mezcle. La, la mierda eso de perco. No cojas vicio de perco, mi pana. No te engañes, loco. A la vez que tú coges el vicio de perco, papi, vas a brincar por ponte ahí para abajo. Ponte la máscara, ¿Ah? ponte la máscara. Ahí para que no te vean. Espérate. 
Ahí. Mira, estos chichamaquitos por ahí. Ah, que yo me meto dos 20 perco diaria, perco 30, que si perco 15 y este y lo otro. Y yo no, si no tengo perco, pues no tengo perco. No seas, tan, no seas mentiroso, no te engañes, papi, porque si no tienes perco te enferma. Ah, y después estás por, te, buscando su buzón, porque así es que, papi, a la larga te vas a meter droga. Y a la larga vas a terminar como cada todo y cada uno de nosotros que estamos aquí en el parque, mi pana. ¿Entiendes? Por ahí en el parque de hoy. Vas a terminar así, ¿entiendes? Mejor. Si vas a fumar, si vas a hacerlo, fuma pasto mejor, digo yeah. yo. Pasto fuma medicinal. Marihuana, marihuana, marihuana. Que ahora está medicinal, que tú yeah. no puedes fumar en todos lados. Chilling. Que va, va a un doctor y le pide, dice que tienes ansiedad, venga, ya, tiene una, ya, ya tiene la licencia. ¿Estás yeah. entiende? Y fumar legal, tranquilo por ahí. Sí, ya. En todo caso, mejor, no hagas nada. No hagas nada, tripe, ahora nota que te dio Dios, que te dio Dios natural, qué sé yo, mano, porque en verdad, yo maldita sea el día que yo probé la cabrona perco. Man. Porque yo, yo empecé como a perco, sé. Soy un vicio de perco y de pal y de filip, marihuana con heroína y cara. Eso fumaba en Puerto Rico yo, Filip Bomba. Ya, yeah, Filip Bomba, yo me acuerdo. Poco yo me muero rompiendo ese vicio hundito, con bulseito, papá. Con el vicio de, pelo, de perco y pal. Y mire, con todo eso, mira, terminé yo con el. Mira, mírame cómo estoy, papi. Esbaratado. Dos veces he tenido que ir al hospital con infección, papá, en la sangre, viste, y está hospitalizado. Sucio, algo, pan. Por poco pierdo el brazo, por poco pierdo la pena. Perdí, wow. perdí mis hijos, perdí mi esposa, perdí mi casa. Lo único que yo tengo es un maldito carro, loco. Por la mierda de vicio, loco. That's real. No se metan en el no, no se metan en esa mierda, loco. Hay truco. That's real. Hay otras cosas para tripear, en verdad. Para vacilar la vida, en verdad. Gracias, mi hermano. Hay truco, en verdad. I'll give you an unmasked interview. Para no terminen como nosotros, país. Estamos bien jodidos. No tenemos, todavía no, no es el fin, viste, porque yo sé que eventualmente yo lo voy a lograr quitar. Pero es difícil, papá. A la vez que te metes es difícil salirte. Yo joto un montón de veces. Porque no es la primera vez que yo caigo. ¿sabes? Yo, yo, yo roto como siete veces. ¿sabes? Pero sigo en pie de lucha, ¿entiendes? Yo, no, yeah. yo sé que yo voy a eventualmente lo voy a lograr. Pero esta, esta ha sido bien dura con este K2, ¿verdad? Right? No, esta. Cada vez que tú te cocotas, yo no sé, yo pensé que eso era mentira. Cada vez que tú te hunde te más y te vuelves a caer, hacho, es más duro. Te hunde más, ¿verdad? Hacho, más, más. Mi pana, yo, yo vengo con Guillén así, yo soy de cuna de oro, bro. Ya me estoy mi pana. Yo tengo en casa de la madre de mis hijos bolsa, una bolsa de tenis, bien así, de tenis. Furiado, más de 200 tenis. Vengo copa con cojones, no me la dan porque la para que la pa recuerda, pues copa cara. Para venderla. Para la venda. Me la contigo, A lo loco. No importa nada más que el vicio. El vicio es mi sitio. Así como tú me ves hoy en la calle, yo me vuelvo con mi familia también. Ya mi familia, gracias a Dios, tiene el techo. Va a tener un techo propio, no va a, beber, no, no va a pagar alquiler. Va a pagar para pa ellos, para ellos propios. Es una casa propia, ¿entiendes? Y yo me puedo, y yo me puedo dar guía en el que yo los ayude, estando en la calle, jodido, los ayude. Un par de miles. Dale, mi hermano. ¿Entiendes? Gracias. Pero mira, quisiera. No, 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 se, no se supone que los ayudara así. Se supone que estuviera con ellos. No, qué jodido. Con la mente de si la mente de Dios. No, acuérdense de eso. Yo sé que ya tú te vas a dar. Pero, hey, pero, gracias, pero, hermano. Eso es lo que tienes que hacer, hermano. Seguir para adelante, estudiar, hermano, y trabajar. Hay muchas cosas buenas para su bajo. Para vacilar de verdad. Eso es así. Con eso los dejo, hermano.
did you guys go? Lord, the man said, if you are willing, 
you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus said to him, don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offer required along Moses, those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you've been clean. I'm going to take off my mask because I can't work with it. And this morning, I read you a word about a man who had leprosy. He had a disease. He had a sickness that everyone could see. Everyone can see his sickness. Everyone can see his disease. Everybody yeah. can see the situation he was in. And due to the disease and to the sickness, society pushed him away. Society pushed him back. And they put him in a hole. And they pigeonholed him. Something like this. Society forgot about Kensington and Clearfield. Society forgot about the people on the street. They want to seclude you to a small area of the town so no one can see you because they don't want to see the hurt and the pain. And then you're not that different from everybody else. The problem is that you are desperately looking for a difference. You are desperately looking for a change. And maybe you made the wrong mistake. Maybe it's not a maybe. You made the wrong mistake. You're taking drugs, you're living in the street because you think a change is going to be that way. And you know how that outcome has happened. Maybe these words are falling on deaf ears, but I know it's not falling on deaf hearts. Because I know that in your heart you can hear my, hear my voice when I tell you that there is a change about to happen in your life. And remember what I said in the beginning, this is only for a season. The leprosy, the sickness, the disease that you have right now, be the way that you got here. Jesus doesn't care because the man, Jesus said, if you want me to heal you, I'll do that. I don't know if you heard the voice of Jesus. Jesus didn't ask him how you got here. Jesus didn't question him why you got here. Jesus didn't want to know what was the reason that you got here. Jesus don't care. Look at this man. 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 Dale, vamos ahora, vamos ahora.
There's no difference. But I'm offering you a difference. I'm offering you a change. I'm offering you hope. I'm offering you strength. I'm offering you cleaning. I'm offering you a new life. Everybody else gave up on you. But I got Jesus that's telling you today, I haven't given up on you. When your mother left you, I'm going to pick you up. When your father left you, I'm going to pick you up. When your best friend betrayed you, I'm going to pick you up. When you left yourself, I'm going to pick you up. So I'm asking you today, what you got to lose? Why are you standing there thinking about it? What do you think is going to happen tomorrow? You think that you're going to continue living your life that's going to be changed? There's no change. The only because you just used to doing what you do. And I'm going to tell you something. You got to shot. You don't got nothing to lose. You don't got nothing to lose. You can't live like that no more. You can't live the way you're going to write like that no more. So give Jesus an opportunity. He desperately wants to change you. He desperately wants to be in your life. Nourishment of food is only going to last for a couple hours. The high of the dope and the fentanyl and the heroin is only going to last for a couple hours. The sweater you're going to have on is going to keep you warm for a little bit. But I'm talking about eternal change. I'm talking about something that's going to last forever. I'm talking about something that you desperately want. It. Tell yourself you can do it. Tell yourself I'm going to give Jesus an opportunity. Tell yourself I desperately want to change this thing. You don't got nothing to lose. That's it, brother. I got one man. I got one man. Stand right there, brother. Stand right there. Right there. Stand right there. I got one man. I got one man who said I'm I'm accepted. I got one man. Can I get one woman to come up here? I want to talk to a lady. I want to talk to a woman who wants to turn into that special mother. You probably got children that foster care. You probably, you probably got your children in your mother's house. You probably got your children in some other city, another county. You probably ain't seen them in a while. But that don't mean that you stop thinking about it. There you go, you got somebody right over here. Come on. That don't mean that you ain't stop thinking about it. And I'm going to tell you something about your children. Your children ain't stop thinking about you. Clean this life up and come back to me. Hope is not dead. Hope is alive. Hope is here. And hope is speaking to your heart this morning. And it's telling you I want to touch your life. Give God an opportunity. Unfortunately, you know that tomorrow is not guaranteed. Unfortunately, you know tomorrow is not guaranteed. You know that the life you're living right now, you only one bad drug away. You only one bad batch away from not waking up. Many of y'all have already had a lot of overdoses. You seen yourself in a hospital room. And God has told you one many times, I've given you another opportunity. I've given you another opportunity. I've given you another opportunity. And every time you've woken up from that overdose, in that room, in that hospital bed, God tells you one time again, I've given you another opportunity because I love you. I love you. That's why I give you another opportunity. Do not take the long suffering of God. The Bible says that God is long suffering. That means that his love is long suffering. And then it says that his love is love eternal suffering. No, it's long suffering. That means there's going to be a point where God's 
going to come to an end. I'm telling you now, listen to my voice. Go listen to the voice in your head that tells you I need another bag. I got to keep working to get another fix. Go listen to that voice. Listen to the voice of Jesus Christ that's telling you I got the bag of life. I got that one bag that once you got a hit of this, you're going to be full forever. You ain't going to have to visit a heaven no more. You're not going to have to sell yourself in the street. You ain't going to have to do it no more. Listen to the voice of Jesus Christ that says, I got the fix. I got the fix you've been looking for. And I'm going to fill the void that's in your heart. Today, I, I'm going to, even though maybe some of y'all didn't pass up here, I'm going to extend, we're going to extend our hands all the way out to the corner store that way. Because maybe you're still talking over there in your conversation, but I want you to know, I know you hear me. I know you hear my voice. Because when the voice of change is speaking out loud, you're going to remember this voice. So I want to put a prayer on you guys right now. I want to say, Father, I ask you, Lord, that you bless these people. That you bless them even when they despair. That you bless them even when they crisis. Because they will be transformed by the love of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God has chosen what society says is worthless to glorify himself. God has chosen you to glorify himself. God has chosen those that the society has rejected. God has chosen those people that the society said we don't love you no more. God has chosen you. God said he loves you. To be the voice. All right, that's why I came Jesus over here. Christ. So Father, I ask you, Lord. I don't know why, but he loves you. That you do an outpour of love. You're gonna do a lot of things if you put your head to it. Understand that the love of Jesus Christ will don't forget it. Maybe they're not living the life they dreamed of, but soon they will be. Because this time will pass. And a transformation is coming to their life. For those people today that receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you strengthen them. That you give them the hope. That you give them the strength to be able to understand that God is with them. That God is going to be a holy God. That God is a truthful God. Many people have lied to you. Many people have deceived you, but today the Almighty Father blesses you with truth. I love you. I don't judge you. I don't care. I just want you and me to be together. So Father, I pray to you, God, that you just do an outpour of love upon everyone here. Not those that are standing on the corner, but also these people in the back over here that are breaking this part and that putting these kids to food. I pray over them too, Lord, because the grace and the humbleness and the empathy of Jesus Christ lays in their heart also. And I pray, Lord God, that they continue to have strength, that maybe many, many people do not unite themselves with them because they don't understand the passion that they got in their heart. But I ask you, Lord, that that fire, that burn within their
pesos. 20, 25 pesos es el jury. Porque tiene diferente. Sí. Y bocarse. También puedo ser goja. No había visto este, tú viste. No, ya, este cabrón, pero siempre está pillando todo. Tres tuchas, otra vez. Me ayuda gratis. Yo negocio hasta aquí, donde tú me ves callado. Porque hace firma nada más. Los cabrones, mira que ahí. Yo me acuerdo ya de tú, cabrón. ¿Verdad? Ese es papo, Dios mío. Ese es el papo. No espero, pero que esa gente sea un guille cabrón. Demasiado, demasiado. Ya, y te no llegaste a conocer. Mira la prostituta, mira la prostituta. Le hace jato, está buscando por ahí. Those people are for samples. Samples and the police came and knocked everybody out. 